just by the ocean in Iceland today and um, look what I found some hexagonal rocks um, you do get these in a few places Giant's Causeway being one uh, this is in Iceland and Vic um, and I mean these things they they look like they couldn't possibly be naturally occurring right they just look so strange and um, and people used to come up with all of these explanations for what they were uh, some people thought that they were the, the chimneys from the bowels of hell sort of fires of the underworld um, other people thought that they were the, the pipes from the devil's organ. But you just can't imagine how this could possibly happen naturally. Um, but it does, and I can explain why. If you're going to get this, this effect, there's a couple of things you need. First, you need uh, an absolutely massive volcano, a huge amount of lava that needs to land somewhere and stay perfectly still for like months and months on end. So if it lands in the valley or, or an old riverbed, something like that. And then what starts to happen is that the, the top, the surface of that lava starts to cool much more quickly than the, the molten blob in the middle. And as it cools, it contracts, sort of like starts to shrink slightly. Now the thing about nature is that there are certain shapes that it likes. If you imagine a thin film of water over a sheet of glass, the water's gonna contract up into little droplets, right? Little, loads of little circles. Lava actually has the same fluid properties as toothpaste, so, droplets, circles, they're not, they're not an option here because there's just too much material. They can't have gaps between them. So if you put circles really close to each other, but fill in the corners, you end up with these hexagonal shapes. Little, little cracks get dominated by bigger cracks. And as soon as the big cracks start to appear on the surface, they travel down the slowly cooling lava. They essentially guide the lava as it solidifies all the way down. And that is why you end up with cracks having these extremely neat lines that look like they've been put there artificially. I mean, look, that's the, the geological explanation. I'm not, I'm not saying that they aren't the devil's organ pipes. That, that could also be true. 